In question 24, we're given a series of statements about respiration, and we're asked which of them is correct. So let's have a look at our six statements. We'll start with one, which says that aerobic respiration produces more energy per unit mass of glucose than anaerobic respiration. Now we should know this to be true. Aerobic respiration is more efficient in terms of generating more energy per unit mass of glucose than anaerobic respiration. In fact, the effect, the effect is many times fold. So the important thing when it comes to long-term endurance based exercise, aerobic respiration generates this efficient energy, whereas anaerobic respiration is generally used for short bursts of energy. Moving on to two, aerobic respiration in muscles causes an oxygen debt. Well, that's not true. Aerobic respiration uses oxygen. An oxygen debt is generated when there's not enough oxygen to mediate aerobic respiration, and therefore anaerobic respiration is opted for. So when there's anaerobic respiration, there's an oxygen debt, which is repaid by mediating a reduction in the amount of lactic acid, which is generated from anaerobic respiration as a byproduct. Moving on to three, aerobic respiration forms carbon dioxide as the only waste product. Well, we know this not to be true, since CO2, since CO2 is one of the byproducts, however, water is another one. So we should remember, glucose and oxygen goes to carbon dioxide and water in the case of aerobic respiration. Moving on, reduced aerobic respiration will limit the active uptake of mineral ions in the kidney tubules. So what's this question asking and how does it relate to respiration? So aerobic respiration generates ATP. ATP is required for the active uptake of mineral ions in the kidney tubules because they use sodium potassium ADPases and a range of other uh, pumps, uh, carrier proteins, which require ATP, which comes from aerobic respiration. So if this is reduced, so too will the up active uptake of mineral ions. Moving on to five, when there is little oxygen available to muscles, only anaerobic respiration occurs. Well, we can say this to be false because that little oxygen, no matter how much it is, will be used for aerobic respiration. So not only anaerobic respiration will occur, some aerobic will. And finally, anaerobic respiration forms lactic acid as the only waste product. Well, we can say this to be true. That's the only product of anaerobic respiration. And it generates an oxygen debt, as we talked about. So our answer is that one, four, and six are correct. And therefore, our answer is going to be option E for question 24.